Can't you see that I'm upset? Oh, I'm sorry. It's, it's hard to tell with your mask on. No, this mask is driving me crazy. No, but remember, Blueberry, it's keeping you safe. And it's keeping those around you safe. Well, it's not just the masks, Joel. It's all these new rules. And the world is changing so fast. And I feel overwhelmed. I understand. But the thing to remember is that, you know, the world is changing for everyone. You're not alone. Yeah, I guess. I think sometimes with our faces hidden behind these masks, it can feel like we shouldn't talk to each other. Yeah. But that isn't true at all. It's not? You know, the best way to deal with your feelings is to share them with a friend or a parent or even a teacher like me. But sometimes I don't want to talk. Sometimes I just need a hug. You know, you can still hug your family, Blueberry, but for everyone else, maybe we should try hugging with our words. Hugging with words? You bet. You know, if we take all of these feelings and we turn them into feelings of friendship and support, oh. sometimes it can feel just as good as a hug. Want to try it? Sure. Okay. How are you feeling today, Blueberry? I'm worried that we're going to have to wear these masks forever. And that's scary. It can be scary. Yeah. But I am very proud of you for remembering to wear your mask and working to keep us both safe. You are very brave, Blueberry. Oh, yeah. How did that feel? Well, well good. I, I feel better. Uh, you know, that did feel like a hug. Well, thanks, Joel. You're welcome. Remember, always trying to put on a brave face can be very lonely. Never keep your feelings hidden behind a mask. And when you start having those feelings like being sad or scared, be sure to share them with someone that you care about. That's the quickest way to let them go. Thanks, Joel.